Hey everyone, Neon Jupiter here with an update on my new synthesizer colors, the additive synth I've been working on for the past year. So the main idea behind this synth is to allow the user to modulate each harmonic individually or by groups. Each one of these groups is represented by one color in the user interface. And it's been a full year since I first created the project file for colors, so I thought it would be interesting to share the progress I've made and how I went from an empty project file to a functioning synth. This is going to be purely a development overview, so if you want to see more detailed and technical content, make sure to subscribe to not miss any future videos. Ok, so the first thing that had to be done was to create a basic interface and oscillator. This prototype allowed me to start structuring the code and to implement the basic functionalities that any synthesizer needs to have, like the capacity to play an note or to regulate the volume. For the moment the oscillator only had to generate the sine wave. Then when the keyboard gets pressed, it had to generate the sound with the MIDI note that's being played. When the key gets unpressed, the sound has to stop. Lastly, the gain knob has to regulate the amplitude of the wave that's being generated by the oscillator. The second thing I implemented was a basic wave calculator. Since this is an additive synth, we need to add up the multiple sine waves selected by the user. For this reason, I created a basic interface to allow the user to select the volume of the different partials with a simple knob. I also added a new oscillator, able to add up the multiple sine waves. It took a couple of tries to nail it, but I finally got it to work properly. Comment down below if you want to see the whole process. I then moved on to create the first envelope of my synthesizer, which still had no name. Thanks to the Juice framework, it was quite easy to implement a simple ADSR, but I wanted some more functionality, like the hold and delay knobs and the ability for the user to modify the slopes of the envelope. To achieve this, I had to create a brand new ADSR class of my own, copying and pasting Juice's ADSR class, add the functionality and link it with the knobs you are seeing right now on screen, which I also created in this step. At this point, I thought it would be a good idea to release a simple version of the synthesizer. The title I came up with was Organizer, since in this version the only partials available would be those that make the sound of an organ, or to be precise, many of them. To allow the user to select the different types of sounds for the synth, I created a combo box selector, and I also created a header that displays the name of the software as well as my social media links. With Organizer finished, I released the synth for free to the public to test. Then I proceeded to brainstorm the functionalities that the full version should have. The first functionality I implemented was a couple of LFOs to modulate the harness more flexibly. This allowed the user to pick the frequency, the shape and the phase. I also added another ADSR to increase even more the flexibility of the scene. All these envelopes were fitted inside the tab container at the bottom of the screen. The next element I decided to implement was the matrix. This was one of the difficult parts to code, but I finally got it to work properly. It allows the user to select an envelope and connect it to a single harmonic. It also allows the user to pick the amount by which it should modulate the partial. Having arrived at this point, I started to remake the harmonic selector. I created one knob for each of the partials and, to clean the interface a little bit, I also grouped them. For the first 16 harmonics and their octaves, I created an abstraction called color, and I assigned one to each one of them. For the rest of the harmonics, I divided them in the four octaves they spent across, and created also four noise knobs, which have the functionality to fill the middle and upper parts of the frequency spectrum. With almost all the functionalities implemented, I decided to start polishing the user interface. To do this, I remade all the knobs, the combo boxes, the harm selector and the tabs. The new interface has a more minimalist look and uses the space way better than the old one. It is also way more hierarchical and doesn't visually saturate the user as much. Currently, I'm working on the preset feature to allow the user to save and load presets, so I'll keep you updated when there's progress. For the moment, if you want to know more about the free version of the scenes that I've talked about in this video, you can go to the one you're seeing right now on screen. I hope you like it and see you next time.